There's a new place in town that you could call magical. It's a back, uh, back room of sorts where an intimate gathering can come to be amazed by top magicians from around the world. And it opens to the public this week with its very first headliner, a real get in the world of illusion, magician Eric Jones. And we are happy to have Eric with us today along with the idea man behind this space, which is called Liberty Magic, Scott Schiller of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Welcome to both of you. Hello, good morning. How are you? Yeah. So well, tell us first about Liberty Magic. What what is it going to be? It's so exciting because the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust's newest project is Liberty Magic, an intimate speakeasy room that is only four rows large, 68 seats, and it's a great place to see magic up close with some of the best magicians around the world coming into Pittsburgh. You know, the cultural district has something for everything, and now it's great that we could feature the elevating the art of magic. And I know that Lee Terbosik, who's a regular here on PTL, is helping you to kind of work with the artistic development of all of this. Absolutely. I remember talking to him, and Eric, you can weigh in on this, about how few actual magic stores exist anymore. So this is and really special. They are special. vanishing. They're vanishing every day. Brick and mortar magic shops are vanishing being taken over by online magic shops. Right. So to have a spot like Liberty Magic That's right. is rare. I mean, it if really you think is. about the cities that have a theater dedicated to magic, you think about LA, Chicago, New York, and now Pittsburgh's on that awesome. list. It's really, really special. And Scott, tell us about Eric, because we won't make him brag about himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Eric is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely incredible. He's been on dozens of TV shows in countries around the world. Of course, he was a finalist on America's Got Talent. He's fooled Penn and Teller, which is an incredible feat. And of course, he is, in, he is amazing at sleight of hand. He's amazing at sort of fooling your imagination and bringing an audience in with his storytelling. And what he's known for is really cards and coins. And he's one of the best in the world. And so we're so, we're so excited <laughs> that he's kicking off our series. Well, I saw the clip of you on America's Got Talent and you had a hammer. You oh, don't have for yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have that today, but you, no, do have, no. you do have some matches. So what are you gonna do? You know what? I'd love to show you something with a couple of really simple props, beginning okay. with this small piece of paper. If you could okay. take a look at it. Oh, I'm glad right. you get you get to hold it. All right. also, <laughs> it just seems like paper. One last thing, if I could have you take this permanent magic marker. Okay. okay. <laughs> get it? Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Write the word cards, cards. on that piece of paper. Okay. And if I could have you, if you don't mind, take a cards. single match. Okay. You want me to take it off? Right off. Okay. Right, and sorry. if you don't mind, just go ahead and light that. All right. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> what am I going to do with this now? All you have to do. Oh, gosh, I haven't is done this. Keep your eyes on the fire. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh, good okay. job. Watch Heather. the paper. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what? Holy <Here> cow! <laughs> With this pack oh of playing gosh. cards, we'll get rid of that. If I could, have you take out any card out of the pack that you want? It doesn't make a difference. So Heather is still stuck. We're done. Well, we can really just house. call it quits now. Uh, go ahead and take out any card out of the you. pack that you want. Oh, you go ahead. No, please do. <laughs> Don't let me see it, but make sure everyone at home gets to see it. Okay. I'll turn my back. Okay. And if you could take that little Sharpie and sign your name right on the face of the card. So even if I had another card just like it, it wouldn't have your unique signature. Okay. Making it the only one like it on the planet. <laughs> okay, so you want me to put it back in the deck? What'd no, you say? just go ahead and make sure the camera okay. gets to see it with your signature on it. And if you don't mind, if I could have you say the word stop as I pass you the cards. Okay. Stop. Just there. You can take your card, you can drop it right back on top. We're going to bury that card somewhere in the very center of the pack. So I don't know exactly where it is, mm -hmm. but I know about the spot. Mm. All you have to do is watch the pack. If I was to snap the fingers, I can cause one card well, to fly through oh, the air. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> you can call me Eric, it's okay, it's okay. But I'm gonna give you one last chance to see how this card rises. Almost like magic to the top of the pack if you watch the four. What I'll do is I'll take it and I'll place a big bend in it, just like so. That way you can track its progress as it passes through each and every level of playing card, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. just blow right on top of the pack. And you'll notice <laughs> one card comes to the top. Oh. Your, your signature. <laughs> this is so crazy. I mean, we are so close to this, and I'm uh, you amazed because you can't figure out what you're doing. That's
about mm -hmm. close-up magic. It's intimate, it's sleight of hand, right. audience interaction. It takes place literally inches away from your face. And one of the things that I really love about close-up magic, especially at Liberty Magic, is that people can be skeptic. They can sit in the front row, pay a little extra to sit right. in the front row. That way they can be a part of the magic. They can try to figure it out. They won't. Well, and you're going to be amazing people for six weeks six here weeks. in Pittsburgh, right? You know, Eric is is so popular. He's got such a following that, you know, the Cultural Trust brings magic acts to the Benetton Center and the Biom all the time. Eric can be on the big stage, but we're actually bringing him inches away from the audience in this intimate setting so that the, your viewers can have the yeah. same exact experience that we just had right here in, like, physically touching the cards and being with Eric. I, I'm amazed. <laughs> Me I can too. still smell my fingers almost. <laughs> it's fine. It's fantastic. It was so worth it. Come experience Liberty Magic for yourself, presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. You'll find it at 811 Liberty Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh. Don't miss Eric Jones there as the first resident mag magician. He's there tomorrow <laughs> through March 17th. I'm happy to be going next Friday, so I'll see Excellent. you again. Yeah. I'll try and I'm going to practice lighting matches. <laughs> <laughs> That's great.